Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I show you how I control fungus gnats in my indoor grow space. Have you ever noticed those little black flies fluttering around? I used to think they were just some kind of fruit fly, but until I got a little more curious, I figured out that those are called fungus gnats and they can actually be detrimental to your plants because what fungus gnats do is they, they lay eggs in your soil and then their larvae will hatch and then they'll eat the roots of your plant. If your plants don't have roots or healthy roots, they're, they're unable to gather water and nutrients from the soil. And I've never had this problem in the past because I've always used manufactured seed starting mix. Uh, however, this year I'm using just plain organic compost that I, I bought from the store, but still it's organic. And in the process of making compost, it's in the open, open environment. And fungus gnats will come and they'll lay eggs and <laughs> they'll emerge inside your house. So you could have your plants in a sterile room with no windows, nothing, no way for anything to get inside. But because fungus gnats are able to lay eggs in the soil, and once the soil gets wet enough and warm enough, the fungus gnats will appear. So that was my issue. I thought I was scot-free because I never brought my plants outside, but sure enough, one day they came. Now I don't have that many, and after failed attempts with apple cider vinegar and uh, you know smacking my hands together, knocking things over, I decided to go and uh, do some research as to what I should get. So fungus gnats are attracted to the color yellow, and you'll see in the next in the next clip of this video uh, when I show you these in action. These are uh, just basically sticky yellow pieces of paper that you that you uh, put onto some wires and you stick the wires in your pots, and uh, the gnats are attracted to the color yellow. So they'll fly and they'll see, rather than land on your nice plants or in the soil, they'll, they'll be attracted to the yellow and they'll stick on the yellow pads. Let's go take a look at my garden and I'll show you these traps in action. Okay, so here we are in the grow room and I just wanted to show you these yellow pads in action. So I have one on my bottom shelf and I have one on my top shelf, but this one doesn't have any bugs. <laughs> Okay, and oh yeah, we got some bugs up here. So for those of you not familiar with fungus gnats, that's what they look like. I'm gonna go to the other side and get a better look. Okay, so we have two on this side, and they might look insignificant, but they could really wreak havoc on your plants. So it's important to keep them under control. Let's go talk a little bit more about these fungus gnats. Okay, so now that you've seen my grow space, you've seen that one of my two traps actually has, um, I don't know, I'd say like seven or so gnats. Um, I, see, I still see them flying around, but um, last night I went to bed and the top one didn't have any gnats. I think, it, I think it had one because I took one out and swatted one out of the air, it was pretty cool. When I woke up this morning and checked the traps, they actually, uh, there were, quite a few more than the, the night before. So these traps are only about $16, the ones I bought on Amazon. Uh, they come with uh, 25 little sticky pieces of paper and 10 of those wire stakes. I've seen other versions of these yellow pads with no wires, so you can string them up maybe um, for less than $10 and you get like 20 in a pack. So they're relatively cheap and in order to keep your fungus gnats at bay, I think these are worth it. I don't think I'm gonna use them outside because I didn't really have any issues with fungus gnats in the past. The only issue I had with fungus gnats were on my lime green pots, similar to the color yellow. They attracted a bunch of gnats, um, but all my other planters are, are dark black or a brown, and those didn't attract any of the gnats. So, only three of these pots that I have, I don't think I'm gonna put out there this year because uh, fungus gnats aren't worth it and they really kill your plant, they stunt your plants. That's pretty much it on the fungus gnat front. Uh, that's how I control my fungus gnats. So if you're watching this video before April 12th, 2019, I'm having a thank you seed giveaway contest for reaching the 200 subscriber mark. So go ahead and after this video, go check that one out. Uh, 
I'll actually include it right here so you can click on that and join in on the fun. The rules are explained in the video. But if you like this video, please click my little logo here when it pops up. Anyway guys, I'm Farmer George. Thanks for watching. Let's share and grow together. See you next time.